So my name is Roland Sigwart. I'm from ETH Zurich in robotics. And our project is the Flourish project. It's about agriculture robotics, where we try to have ground robots and flying robots to inspect fields and to improve the yield on the field. And how are they going to be doing that? So first of all, the flying robots can move much faster, so they can actually cover large fields. And if they identify areas um, with special cameras um, where probably there is not enough uh, water, they can actually send the ground robot there, and the robot can do the ground robot more detailed inspection and probably even interfere, uh, get uh, bad uh, herbs out, or actually interfere also with watering or some chemical deposition. Okay. And what do you think are going to be the main challenges that you'll face? I think on one side it's really the, to have a, a common map between the flying robot and the ground robot. So the flying robot has a different view from top down and they have to share the map of the environment and they have to share the information they capture with the sensors. So you have different views and then of course you have also to analyze the, Im the spectral images um, from the air robot, robot but also on the ground robot so in order to automatically detect uh, areas where you have to interfere. And what will these robots actually look like? So the aero robot in the beginning at least it will be a, a, a multi-copter helicopter. Um, if you want to cover bigger fields we have also possibility to use uh, solar airplanes or fixed wing airplanes which can cover much bigger fields but the um, quadrators they will uh, be enough for the beginning. And from the ground robot, we have a collaboration with uh, Bosch in this project, and they have already a ground robot which can be used in this context. And uh, on, in an ideal world, at the end of the project, in a couple of years or so, what do you think will be the outcome that you expect? We hope we can really contribute with robotics towards feeding the world population. I think this is probably the most pressing problem we have in the world. And today we have about 20 to 30 percent of the food is already lost on the field. So if these robotics devices can help really to that the plants are growing better and you can have uh, less chemical de deposition, um, that can really make a difference for the future. And I hope we can have a demonstration which really shows that we can move, go forward and hopefully as the next step then probably spin this technology out for the market.